Hey everybody, how's it going? Back out in the garage again because of this. I uh, I changed the oil on this thing um, a little ways back, not too long ago, and I see this sticker says requires 100% synthetic 1030 motor oil. I put in synthetic compressor oil and. Now it's knocking. Now my compressor is knocking. Um, got 120 pounds in it now, so it won't come on. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, I'm kind of besides myself because I take care of my equipment. And I change my oil. And I make sure everything's nice. Um, the valve on the bottom, I have it just cracked open a little bit. So it hisses out. So any moisture gets in there, it'll, it'll leach, leach out. So I should put a pan there now that I got carpet. What? Charlie wants to come out. So I'm going to blow some air off. Well, let me plug it in. And you can hear the knock on this thing. You obviously heard that. I don't know what the hell happened. It just started doing it. I don't know if... I don't know. I'm going to have to pull the, drain the oil, see if I got enough oil in it. What the hell is going on? So, it's always something. So let me get this apart, see what's going on. So this is the oil I pulled out. It really doesn't look like that much. Um, I took this window sight glass out. Supposed to hold that much. I'm kind of guessing. Got to be half a quart. But now I can see the sight glass. I cleaned it all out. I got some uh, mobile one ten thirty. I'm gonna get some together. I'm gonna dump it in this freaking thing. I get my measuring cup out. And we'll go from there and hope to hell this is going to work. Well, I guess it's like a car. I'm full now. I didn't have enough oil in it. Ow. So the problem was I didn't have enough oil in it. Son of a bitch. Did you, the knock just went away. It started knocking. And then it suddenly started just quieting down and it stopped. Thank God. So I'm going to blow some air off. So get ready for this. Oh, how quiet is that now? Wow. You heard it before. It always made that noise. So, that took a lot of oil. Damn. That took a lot of oil. Oh, she's purring like a kitten again. Hopefully they didn't hurt it. Mobile One, isn't that amazing stuff? This is how long I've had this jug. Been around for a long time. This is where I keep all my car oils up here. Man, I'm happy. That just saved me $400. Perfect, freaking perfect. Oil level's right in the middle. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, right in the middle. Well, there we go. Lesson learned. Um, the window was dirty and I couldn't see how full it is. But now seeing it, there's an obvious contrast between oil and no oil. So there was no oil in it. And the damn thing was, well, there was oil in it, but not enough, I guess. 
But I think one savior for all this is it has synthetic oil in it. If I had like regular oil in this thing, it probably would have been blown up by now. Probably just went out, boop, and that'd be the end of it. So, see? Everybody thinks I'm smart. I'm not really that smart. I just know how to do stuff. But, well, I dodged a bullet, I think, on this one. So, yeah, that's all mine is. Just a little guy. But it works great. Now it works good. All right, everybody. Learn from my mistakes. And, uh, yeah, so I pulled out. Wow. I pulled out nothing out of that and I put in like a quart and a half and I took out like a quarter of a quart holy Christ stupid stupid dodged a bullet well there you go I even show you when I screw up I don't hide nothing all right everybody Thank God they came out tonight because I was in there watching TV and that knocking was driving me nuts. I mean, I had heard the knocking in my head and I'm like, I got to go out and see what the hell is going on with this compressor because I don't want to buy a new one. So hopefully I don't. Hopefully this will be good and that's it. Whew. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my goofy videos. And now you see I'm not as smart as you think I am. Have a good night. Bye-bye.